Hi, I'm Oliver, and I'm the uh, aerospace engineer who designed the, the system. So come on into our greenhouse. This is the inside of our 28-foot Rion greenhouse. What we have right in front of you is uh, one of our grow beds. This is an S FGS-1. This is a single grow bed unit. The first one. The other two are double grow bed units. Fish feeder that feeds the fish. This is a filtration system we're just playing with to see what it does. Um, it's just an experiment. We're always experimenting and seeing what happens. It's not normally necessary or used. So come on in. I'll invite you in at this time. This is our blue flame heater. This puts out carbon dioxide. It's burned almost 100% clean. And uh, the plants love it in the wintertime. We just started firing this up. We've got a couple of cold nights, and here we are. Okay, here's the long view down the inside of the greenhouse. As you can see, there's one, two, three, four, or five grow beds. One, two, and then barely three fish tanks. And here's the other side. We have dual pumps set up here right now. Only one of them is turned on. You can see the timer on the far end over there, the white unit on the left. It's the automatic fish feeder. Uh, some extra camera plugs since it's plugged in. We have two air pumps, two whisper air pumps. Make sure we have plenty of oxygen in the water and keep the fish happy. Now right, here's tank number one. And we're looking at the fish in tank number one. Our beautiful tilapia. In various stages of growth. Put these pipes in here, these uh, large pipes, so that they have a place to hide. They love to hide in there. They feel less stressed. When we found out when we didn't have them in there, they were becoming very stressed. And we put the pipes in, and they calmed right down, started eating normally, and seemed to be a lot, a lot calmer and, and more secure feeling for them. So that's why we have that in here. This is a return line right here from the previous tank, which is this tank here. We have a full flow system between the three tanks. We're constantly circulating water between all three tanks. And that way we don't have to worry about what's growing in what grow bed and what, what, how many fish are in which tank versus which grow bed has what in it because it's all the same. All the water is shared between the tanks. And um, also adds a little oxygen by letting it flow into the tank. This is tank number one. One pretty good size one in there already. It's growing out pretty well. The pH meter. Tank number two. All the pHs are the same in all the tanks because they're flowing together. 7.4. The reason this is 7.4 is because it's normally about 6.8. Uh, we drained one of the tanks and cleaned it and um, uh, added uh, some water from our tap, which is filtered water and no chlorine in it, but it has a high pH. And that'll settle back down when, once the uh, and the fish get all fed and start producing ammonia again and gets converted out. This is tank number two. Again, you see the little tunnels and houses and stuff for the fish. Uh, that, yes, that is algae growing in these tanks. Algae produces oxygen in the tanks. We noticed that when we let the algae grow in the tanks, we had a lot more oxygen in there than we did before we let the algae grow. This is tank number three. This is one that we just cleaned out, and um, it's full of water. This is the primer, the top uphill tank. So, this tank number five for dinner. Oh no, that's Kitty. Hi. <laughs> hey, Cap. There's fish in here. Actually, we only have one fish in here. He was being a little stressed out by the other fish and having a little problems with him, so we put him in this tank because we just freshly cleaned it out, so giving him a little chance to. Recuperate, calm down, uh, heal. Sometimes the fish uh, get a little stressed with each other. It, have, it may have to do with sexual maturity. We're not really sure exactly why they get that way, but as soon as we find one that's having a real problem, we isolate them. We learned if we don't isolate them, they end up dying on us. So we've learned to isolate it. Here's the overflow coming back from tank number one. Being pumped in here, not much at all. Just a slow trickle, so we slowly exchange the water between the tanks. This is the return from the second row bed. This is one of our Arctic chillers. During the summertime, even though we have an air conditioning system, we want to make sure that the tanks stay cold. Uh, it helps the vegetables grow, the fish. 
uh, can handle uh, down in the mid 70s so we just want to make sure that the tanks don't get overheated because we keep the room about 80 and we want to keep the roots of the vegetables to cool. Uh, these are energy consumers so we don't like to run them too much. Uh, only, only on really hot days do they kick on when the air conditioning has a hard time keeping up with the system. Um, as you can see this is the in input coming out here. This is um, this is our heater. Thank you. This is our heater. It's a 300 watt inline heater with a thermostat on it. It turns out the thermostat is calibrated in degrees Fahrenheit and it's right on the money. Yeah, it's very accurate to very accurately done. Keeps it within a degree or two. So in case the water gets too cold, which is not good for the fish, this heater kicks on and warms up. We'll be putting thermal blankets around these tanks uh, very soon because the temperature in here may drop a little bit too low and we want to we want to run the heaters any more than we have to. So as you can see we have several systems in here all nice and neatly lined up and, and working very very well. Another fish feeder getting a little low on food there I need to add some food to it. This is the camera that shoots the um, picture on the web shooting down into the tank, one of the two cameras shooting in the tanks. And the clock that you see on our website. The greenhouse camera is over the door. So when you shoot in, you see that one when you log into the website. In addition to our webcam, we have a web microphone, which is hanging right here in the middle. So if you happen to be on our web right now, uh, you could be listening to the Greenhouse page, you could be listening to what we're saying. And the recording of this video comes down to our little Mac Mini and broadcast over the internet. These are our speakers. We always play music out here. We have it turned off for the purpose of this video. We have the two air conditioning units coming in up here. Up here. These are two input air conditioning systems. They're on a thermostat that's at the opposite end of the room. Due to the fact that we have very alkaline water here, it's such a high alkaline and high calcium rate, we had to go with a reverse osmosis unit to, uh, osmosis unit to pull out the calcium and such, and this is what it is, and this is how we fill the tanks. Hydrogen. All of our tanks, are, all of our grow beds are full of hydroton. You can see this is hydroton. And the fish solids end up going into the tank. And right now we've just pulled the, uh, we've harvested uh, some of our, um, lettuce. Uh, we've harvested our lettuce, m much of our lettuce. And uh, I'll let Grace talk to you about that. But I want to show you down here by digging down that you see this is full of fish waste. This is wonderful fertilizer. This water is just full of fish waste. This is wonderful fertilizer for the plants. And uh, oh, there's a <laughs> rock wool left over from last growing season. So these tanks, these, these grow beds and fish systems are not fully mature yet. They are cycled, but they're not fully mature. We've run one crop through here already, and we're getting ready to run a second crop. It takes about a year for the system to fully mature, and we've had this up and running uh, since the 1st of August. So about two and a half months. So it's not a fully mature system, but it is cycled and it's stable. And right now what we're doing is we're keeping all the water from each tank cycling between the tanks and that stay, helps stabilize the system and we're not overly concerned about how many fish are in each tank relative to the amount of food, grow, plants in each grow bed. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera, the, well I'll be taking the camera and let Grace be doing some talking and she'll be telling you about, she's our plant guru here so she'll be telling you about what we have planted. Thank you. <laughs> 